Welcome, and today I wanted to open up this video with a little look at the Central Park in New York City. And here the Central Park, looking really amazing in older times. And originally I saw this in a Global Vision video, and he was showing some of these older photos of Central Park. I'm gonna interrupt my own video for a minute here and ask you all who have the ability to get on Twitter to go to YouTube's page and ask them to restore Martin Liedke's account. It has been hacked and he has no access to it and they have verified him and all other YouTubers triple time and there shouldn't be any reason that they can't verify him and I ask you to please help him out and we'll return to the program. And here again we can see the Central Park in 1865 and you see this massive I don't know what in the center of the screen and it looks like a giant fountain in front of that building and just a lot you know a lot going on for this time period a lot of serious engineering and things that probably would take a lot of time to lay out and to grow trees and time that I don't think we have. And here's another little look. Central Park in 1866. Just looking absolutely amazing and we see the level of advancement of the people in their little carriages and yet pumping fountains there we go pumping water fountains and just absolutely exquisite architecture we're seeing here in Central Park so you know parks now all parks national city whatever now becomes this designation and an excuse to level entire areas with no questions asked. And here again, well, bridges and really remarkable for this time period. And here, this rendering and something looking very well established that we're told was recently constructed and everything looks organized and well planned even if we look at the trees in the background in rows just amazing and the spa in Central Park here we go spa that needs Antiquitech on the roof here again a look at the terrace and here again 1895 so fortunately this was preserved and here a little view of the ice skating ring in Central Park. Now here is a look at a John Bachman bird's eye view of New York and Brooklyn. 1852. A three color lithograph. And let's have a little look at this view of New York and Brooklyn in 1852. And I'm not very familiar with New York City, as many of you may be, but really remarkable, really built out, and not what I would expect to have seen, really amazing. I think I recognize this cathedral, and really not looking like any kind of a new city looking very old and established and for maybe the last 20 minutes I've been looking at older pictures of New York but I really wanted to share so I've hit screen record and I think we'll just work our way backwards and just have a quick quick little peek that would led me to this point but I'm really amazed with everything that we see in this 
lithograph looking more like a European city of some type than New York City and the city just seeming perfectly laid out and really I was looking for a bird's eye view of Central Park and I originally saw this in a global vision video and what are these back here these amazing structures and really Central Park just being built out remarkably and again I mean I'm sure that this is they might say that this is some water treatment plant. I'm not sure without getting into it. Structures everywhere. Antiquitech and amazing roads that used to run through the Central Park. And even these little depictions all around here were just fascinating. And in his video, he was also showing this uh, Fort Wadsworth. The first... United States military base and actually if we have a little look at this Fort Wadsworth here it is and just mind-blowing I mean this thing looking more like some kind of Roman aqueduct but in fact if we look at it from above we can see that it is a star fort type structure. And we have the star shape and in fact in his video he was just showing structures all around here just all kinds of ruins basically just amazing antiquities to be found at this Fort Wadsworth and it was the first time I'd ever seen this place and if we again have a little peek at his video maybe I can show you some of this I'm just really mind-blowing and the the stone used as we can see here I mean these are serious megalithic blocks here and we're talking about the first ever military base in, in America according to the narrative and these things are just massive and, and cut to a perfection. I mean, as you saw in that last segment, what it would take to cut stones these days were really, really amazing. And just amazing buildings to be found in Central Park. Here, for example, is the some sort of terrace under construction in 1862. And really silly. I mean, definitely does not look like construction photos three guys sitting here a little controller character and some wood maybe these guys managed to prop this wood up here and that's about it but this is just beautiful and this is just some little part of Central Park just some little probably left over and there were tunnels and just amazing, amazing, amazing. Again, just almost like left over from something much greater. I mean, if we look, we can see how this has been leveled. This seeming like a, a flat area where, you know, another structure may have been this looking like the base of uh, something grand and glorious that must have towered high above. But I just thought I would share that real quick construction photo and the Brooklyn Bridge itself just seeming really really old and I mean if we see this type of stone that they've used I don't know I don't know that's all I can say but this just seems really old and of an older style the stonework itself having a much more European feel and here as well I mean this is just a little this is like the off-ramp for the Brooklyn Bridge just the off-ramp and really seeming again like something in Europe and not in New York City here again getting a look at the stonework on the Brooklyn Bridge 
and there's a little plaque here, 1875, but I don't know, just really seeming much older. These stones almost seeming like solid pieces under these archways, really beautiful. And here is another under construction photo of the bridge. Again, just seeming really old. And perhaps this, this tower had another purpose. I don't know. Maybe there's some earlier pictures, but uh, really jumping into a pretty completed structure here. Pretty aged. And now let's have a little look at the Statue of Liberty. In case you're new to all of this, this Statue of Liberty is standing on an old structure. And while everybody is so mystified with this statue, most fail to recognize that the structure that it's standing on is something much older and from a much older civilization. And this is called a star fort. And star forts are some of the oldest structures found in the world. And with no exception. And some of them are small and some of them are as large as entire cities. Entire cities laid out in this fashion. And our historical narrative seems to have left these grand and glorious structures out of history and rather just put something on top of it. Certainly has worked when it comes to pulling the eye away from the real point of interest. And in fact it looks like we see two different eras. This now also seeming like a different maker than the much older star fort below it. And yet this is older than the statue that's standing on top. Perhaps in older times there was a giant obelisk on this pedestal not sure, but nevertheless, a star fort. And we often talk about who this prior civilization may have been. Were they Atlanteans, Tartarians, Phoenicians? And especially when pertaining to the kind of Greco-Roman style, as we call it in modern times. But when it comes to these star forts, not a clue. Not even seeming like the same people. And again, if we take a little peruse over to the Fort Wadsworth, not too far away, we again see something very beautiful and tucked away as if it is not interesting. And I have never seen this before where most of us have seen the Statue of Liberty but these antiquities are hiding in plain sight but usually with something to detract our eye in the case with the Star Ford and the Statue of Liberty obviously the statue detracting the eye and in this particular case the bridge well, this just seeming like some uninteresting thing under the bridge, but no. This is much more interesting. And the narrative, like I said, tells us that this was the first military outpost. And really not seeming like much of a defense mechanism with all these windows. I mean, just seeming like a big invitation to be invaded. And this is a great mystery. And I wish that I was here right now to explore this. Very fascinating. And in the video that Global Vision was showing, he was showing all kinds of interesting things around here. It's not just this initial structure under the bridge here but all kinds of ruins.
Look at all of this. And there's tunnels going under the ground. I mean, this is probably one of the more remarkable things I've seen in, in quite a while. What is going on here, and why have we never heard of this? And it really seems like it's in disrepair, overgrown, and it seems pretty obvious that we are not really meant to know about this. And I'm not going to get into it today, as far as the narrative is concerned. Rather, I just wanted to share and get your take on it. Really, really remarkable. You know, a little castle. And even in Central Park, uh, there were castles and I found some amazing pictures but I am gonna try to keep this one short today but even though I wasn't going to talk about this I'm always fascinated with the artificial coastlines just trying to wrap my head around what it would take to create these artificial coasts and some people might say that they're natural but whereas we can look at remarkable buildings all day long but to create coastlines and shape them at will is something that I've never heard a story about the land not looking natural at all and here proving my point on accident whereas these right angles are anything but natural and I've yet to get any kind of explanation for what we're seeing out here and even on this small island artificial lines and why don't we just stick a little pin here and call it a wrap thanks so much for watching do have a blessed day, please like, comment, and subscribe.